Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket, see me I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs and today's video is going to be about the features we want to see in Multiverse and let's get straight into this video guys. Now the first feature that I want to see in Multiverse is down the line is a replay mode. I cannot stress you enough of how much potential content this can do, thumbnails it could bring and a whole bunch of stuff and I'll give you one big example. For example, um, recently at Mayhem, they had a big tournament called Armageddon, and Key clipped the hell out of me. I'm gonna post it right here. Yeah, yeah, I got clipped. Cool, cool, cool. But imagine if he was able to change the camera like how Ultimate, um, Smash Ultimate can do with the, um, angles and stuff. Imagine he was able to do that for this clip for, like, if you wanted to make a video out of that. And not only that, he could make a amusing and a beautiful thumbnail out of it, too. For example, um, we had a big supporter that literally watched that event. And was like, I'm going to make fan art from it. And bam, here it is. Look how beautiful it is. Imagine his thumbnail literally was this picture and an in-game angle trying to replicate this um, artwork. And the title could literally be like, my fan bought one of my clips to life. Like, I think that would be dope. And this is not even me mentioning or reminding y'all that um, replay mode will be amazing for competitive players and people that just want to rewatch their gameplays and learn from it. Up next on the list, and we're actually going to go from priority to like the least, you know, it's like, yeah, we'll, we'll get it. But this is like the top of the top what I want to see. But next we have is an online lab. Yes, guys, this is a 2v2 game, right? Don't get me wrong, we already have the lab, it's cool and all, but bro, we need a online lab. Like, this is a 2v2 game. I need to be able to, uh, at least, it doesn't have to be four players, but at least with another person. I need to have my partner with me in the lab so we can actually test stuff out, test team combos out learn stuff find stuff out i think it will be an amazing thing to do it will open up so many more combos and so many more unique um, gameplay and strategies that can happen um in tournaments and just gameplay overall man people could learn so much more and be like oh wait this works into this and that into that and they could just find so much things and i cannot wait to see and hopefully they do add this down in the line um number three is more custom game features guys i cannot stress this enough i do love the custom games i think it's pretty nice and you know clean and sleek but guys we need more features like for example i think we need more than four stocks three stocks like the stocks are just one to four bro give me five give me seven give me ten let me just go crazy and have fun you know um another thing i would love to see especially for the competitive side is a is best of best of three best of fives best of sevens best of tens like i want to be able just to be in, in one custom game and just going through a set so for example if i'm in a tournament and they said play a best of three we said it's a best of three and then at the ending it literally shows 2-0 or you know best of five three one three two you know it, it, three oh it, it'll look nicer and cleaner in my opinion um at the end versus playing a match getting now playing a match getting now it's like no we just play the whole set you know we rematch we press it up and go again you know i think that'd be awesome and not only that i'm not only thinking about the competitive side give me some fun settings like gravity some speed big heads a whole bunch of just toying around stuff throw in the silly cute stuff that y'all have into customs let us have fun you know i would definitely want to see that in in the custom features man because i really do think you know, it's nice and sleek, but we need some more fun into it. And on the competitive side, too. Up next, we have on the list is number four, and that is Duo Land Online. I cannot stress this enough. I'm actually very surprised this wasn't even dropped instantly. But people, um, like families, that like have brothers and sisters or friends that want to come over. Sometimes they only have the one system and they want to play online. This is a 2v2 game. You gotta let them be able to queue with their partner that's literally right next to them. Literally, when you plug in a controller um, online, let them, you know, sign into their account, however, however it has to be, and let them queue up together. I think that would be amazing fun. Imagine playing with your dual partner right next to you online. One, that would help out with, you know, connection wise and all that stuff because it won't be like different, it won't be like multiple, um, connection trying to connect to our uh, server and all that stuff it'll be one less issue on that and yeah i think that would just be amazing to, to um, be able to play with someone that's right next to you online against other people um up next we have is a map maker for customs guys yes i already know modding kind of got shut down instantly in multiverse it makes sense you know because of copyrights and all that stuff but i think a map maker would be amazing and obviously it can't be played you know in public matches and stuff but in customs i think that would be outstanding and the reason why is because um for example for for some reason smash always comes up on my on my timeline sometimes on youtube and it would just be these goofy videos of like if they could jump this or do this or if someone's faster than this or who's faster than that and that and that 
and I would love to do videos and content like that with these characters in multiverses for one and then two people that just want to make fun maps on their own to play with their friends you know shoot they could probably even make a like um like it's not not I want to say speed running but more like a, a parkour map you know just have fun going around the map you know just doing a whole bunch of fun stuff I think that would be cool to see in the future obviously it won't be something probably too early because you know games don't open alpha but definitely love to see a, a map maker down the line in the future where fans can make their own unique and fun maps that's just in customs you know for us to enjoy up next we have i think this is number six or yeah number six is controller binds oh my goodness we already have the keyboard binds i know they're working on the controller binds but please i want to be able to push one button like keyboarders to do a whole action like they do man i need to i need to do one button that does left attack or down attack and up special and all that stuff i would love to see that man uh i think it's already been in the talks but i, I, I want it we need it <laughs> number seven is we have is character binds this one's kind of more I want to say in the special category with for certain people because I do have a friend named Flash Tyree and this guy I don't know why but he has binds for different characters and I don't think that's too bad because for example um, I used to do when I do certain controllers because the controller has the C stick you know the right stick um, sometimes you could change it oh well, not sometimes you can change it from attacks or specials and certain characters I did do that like for example Velma Batman and stuff I would switch that to specials and any other character I most likely use tax but I think this would just make people more optimal for, like for example I actually given up on the whole idea of switching back and forth on every character because I, I was just being lazy but that could just you know mean that I just kind of put myself in a disadvantage um you know gameplay wise where if I just took the time to do it or if there's a setting for me to do it then I could just do it right there and then uh number eight we have is a perk loadout I'm very surprised this wasn't actually in when the game actually dropped uh, literally a perk loadout one two three maybe one two just just something where where I can have preloaded um, perks where I could just go back and forth versus going through it, scrolling through it, because there are certain perks that people already want, want to run and they have to change it up all the way. So I think if you're able to give every character at least three um, perk selections or uh, perk loadouts or just perk, three perk loadouts in general will be enough for people want to, um, you know, easier for them to get to their perks faster and stuff. Because I know we have time and stuff, but, you know, people be on their phone and stuff, and, you know, they be just quick queuing because they don't want to change perk. But if they were able to just change it with one, two, three, like, oh, this person played your projectiles. All right, I need to run that school me. Oh, this person's not doing it. All right, let me run this. Oh, wait, I'm playing this character. All right, I need to, you know, have collateral on fire because I have this projectiles and that, and that. I think it'll just be a nice and easier gaming experience um, for players in general. Um, up next is number nine. Um, I hope my numbers are correct. <laughs> is we have is voice chat slash text chat. Now I know voice chat is a hard topic because people could be toxic, say things that they shouldn't be, and all that stuff. But I think a text chat, and I don't even mean like nothing complex. I mean something so bare minimum that is just a bar that you could talk to your team like, hey, you should run this perk. Da da da. Oh wow, we did good, man. We should um um you know queue up together and stuff and play and play some more it doesn't have to be a universal chat for the whole lobby because you know again people can get toxic but at least to your partner you know it, it it's beneficial and stuff and again people can be toxic oh you suck da, da, da. but again you could stop that by just having words being refrained being said in text chat you know just not being allowed to be said up next number 10 we have is a lab slash bot setting yes guys pfg we love y'all thank you for giving us a lab instantly but it is lacking a lot of features and i know open beta small team can't wait for it but i hope this is not um forgotten in your like list of things to add on i would love to see the lab get more settings where you could do stuff like you know change the di's change like how characters move set and all that stuff i'm newer to fighters but you know I don't know, do quick, quick copies from traditional fighters, Smash, Bro, you know, take, take them ideas and throw it in your game, man. Like everyone does it. Come on, come on. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like, I definitely want to see stuff like that. Um, you know, again, like diing and stuff. I think that will help with like comboing stuff and see what's true and not. You know, what percentages stuff will be um killable if they di this way, that way. You know, just the stuff like that. I think a lot of people would appreciate that down the line. Number eleven is character stat info. Guys, we already have the move list on characters. I definitely think they could clean it up a little bit better and they can add, for example, character stats, their weight, their speed, 
velocity on stuff um momentum i forget what the real settings are because we do have their data like the data is in the game and you could pull it out but i don't think people need to go through all that trouble especially it's only a pc thing to find what their character is this and that i would love to know that oh this character is this way this character is that and this and that and even attacks man like the attacks that we have that literally in the moves list i'll love to have the the number and the knockback number is right behind it so we know okay this is that and that oh this, this is a strong move you know so it's just an easier time to know information about moves and your characters overall you know i would love to see that in the future um number 12 is a choose character screen guys i appreciate the changes um they do you know changing up with the new characters being on the home screen but i think a lot of us can say that we would love to be able to choose our own characters i think it will be cool that every time a new character do drop it does get like defaulted to the newest character but after that they could just change it back to whatever character they want i think that'll be awesome and cool i don't know that's just me something very small uh and like like i said now we're going to like the little lesser stuff that doesn't really matter but again we'll love to see these changes down the line um next we have is number 13 is select your music for maps um i think it's great you know how you know every map has their music but there are some songs that people do generally enjoy and i would love to see that we're able to just choose whatever music we want when we play a map and just hear that throughout all our matches i think that would be dope number 14 is custom map skins i'm not sure this is really a feature but this is just something that i would love to see like for example um hopefully i can find it but it was on twitter and someone made a map of um i think it was just normal treetop and he showed a variation of when it was snowing and stuff and i think that would be dope you know and i'm pretty sure street fighter did it recently where anyone well big well, bulk it's a traditional fighter so all i'd really do is change in the background but this is kind of the same vice versa where you're playing on the same map but you could change the background to whatever you want and obviously it wouldn't be whatever you want it would be more like holidays or raining and you know just a different effects i think it would be just cool um to have on the map and having the same old basic thing like i said it could just give you that extra that extra vibe it's just like okay i'm playing this map i want it to look like this this time and this this time you know so it could feel new um number 14 i hope <laughs> is character row filter this was actually a great idea that someone came up with um, in my comments, so hopefully I can find it, but shout out to you if I pop it on the screen right now. Um, pretty much, you know, in this game, you can solo queue in twos, and I think this would be an awesome thing. Obviously, you can't do like a... I mean, they could do it, but it would probably be too much effort and harder time to find um, characters and queue. But instead of a character row, uh, a character filter, it'll be a character row filter. For example, they say, hey, uh, filter to only people that are playing bruisers or you know mages or assassins or tanks or um support you know and you could you know you could choose as many you could choose all five choose all four three two one whatever you want and i think that would be actually dope so for example you, you don't want to double up on a character for some reason or anything or you just feel like hey if i'm playing the support i don't want to play with another support character let me play with someone playing this character in this role you know i think that would be dope to have number 15 will be a randomizer or a favorite randomizer um for your like banners and and your badges and your ring outs because there are so many ring outs that i love right but i'm not gonna sit there and Reclick and rechange and reclick and rechange. If there was a system where I could favor three, four of them, and they just randomize every game, I think that would be dope because I could show off all my ringouts that I want to and see the different changes and stuff. Same thing with banners and and, and um badges. You know, again, I could have it. This match it shows this, but next match it shows that. Next set it shows this. Next set it shows that by randomizing it because you know people select it. Don't get me wrong, but no one's gonna sit there and be like, this game I wanted to look like this, this game I wanted to look like that. If we had an in-game feature that did it, did it for us, a lot more people would do it and we'll see a lot more different um, combinations when it comes to ring outs, banners, and badges and all that stuff. Um, and then number 16 and number 17, which is pretty much the bottom of the grill that most likely already is in the works and sooner or later will come down, is guilds and a story mode. Now, when guilds come out, I really hope it's not in so basic where it's just like, hey, guilds, invite them to the team. You have a little clan tag. Cool. No, I want to actually do stuff. I want to have these guild battles where, you know, you do stuff like this and you get rewards. And I think there was ideas where people like like boss battles. I don't know how they would do it or how it would work. But, you know, let's say if they did it like a mobile, not mobile, a mobile game where, you know, these guilds, you had to fight this boss. It had like a massive crazy health that you could never, you know, destroy but whoever did the most damage out of top a thousand out the world got this skin and all that stuff i think that would be dope i think that would be a cool idea make people want to be in guilds and actually work for it and have these cool skins or even skin um like color variations and stuff um on characters uh, i think that would be dope 
And then finally, you know, the story mode. I think story mode is going to be awesome. I think the way they need to do the story mode is literally, I kid you not, is how um, Smash Brawl was, you know, with the whole walkthrough and stuff. And if they could do better than that, then I would love to see it. But I don't want to see the whole, you know, you, you load in with a character, you beat this character up, you move on to the next character, you beat this character, move on. I want to see that little, that little fun game mode, that fun little journey to get to those characters, you know. And then again, obviously, I would love to be a co-op, you know. And then you get unique skins by playing the story mode and etc. And for Yaz, I think this is going to be free. Personally, I hope it's not free. I, I want PFG to make their money off this, you know, make it like a ten dollar, twenty dollar thing, but make sure there's content and like I said, skins that is rewarding within it so it's worth it, you know. But yeah, those are all my ideas not all <laughs> why I said it like that. Those are my ideas and some of my um supporter ideas that I got from Twitter that pretty much came up with this list and hopefully you enjoy it. Comment down below what um features that you want to see in multiverses down the line and you know i would love to read that down below if you like the video don't forget the like button guys and if you enjoy multiverses videos and you want to see more content from me then don't forget to subscribe button guys and i'm out guys peace yeah, she got a man she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state moved to la cause she want to be famous got another five on the side she a waitress but it's getting tough hard to find